Almost two weeks since a new London church collapsed and already a nearby church has brought in masonry experts to inspect its own tower. News 8's Tina Detail went into that tower of the church to get an idea of what the cause is for concern. These guys were on their game. Scott Loring's masonry restoration company specializes in historic buildings. But you got a lot of open joints. Like St. James Episcopal Church in New London. What we have to worry about is what is in between the granite and the brownstone outside. The church called him here. Just days after the collapse of the steeple at the engaging Heaven Church, a couple of blocks away. Since we don't know what really caused the collapse of that steeple, that we wanted to make sure we didn't have the underlying conditions. In 2014, Loring was called to inspect that church as well. As I recall, you know, it, it looked good. I mean, you know, like if you look around this, you would say this looks good, right? I mean, it looks good. Guess what? It wasn't. Loring says it's only after work is started that you really get a true sense of the extent of damage and what repairs are needed, which is why he adds 30% onto his estimates for unforeseen work. I wish back then uh, some work was done, but it's hindsight. Loring is now doing work on St. Mary in Norwich, which may be a good example of why it is best to take action once problems are discovered. Last spring, parishioners started noticing small rocks falling from the facade and then larger chunks. I feel another winter of a freeze and thaw cycle would have been catastrophic for that church. Even the untrained eye can see that there are gaps and holes in these joints. But really, it's how this is repaired that makes all the difference. They say up here you can see that someone just put mortar on the outside of these stones. But what has to be done is that mortar has to go way into these joints in order to make it strong and safe. I just spotted a crack here in this piece of granite. The last time they did work at St. James was in the early 2000s, and they say over time things change. Well, it indicates that there's some shifting in that area there. Uh, the stone has started to separate. So you have to stay on top of it. In New London, Tina Detell. News 8.